I couldn't find a wiring diagram for this Lafayette guitar amplifier circuit. So I decided I'll just draw one up. And I tried something new, which I'll show you what I did here. That worked pretty good to help me draw up the wiring diagram and verify the circuit. I took some pictures of the board like this. Now this is just a shot from underneath the foil side of the board. Then I flipped it vertically in Photoshop like this. And what that did was if it would be possible to look through the top of the board, through the board, this is what you would see. So in other words, I've made the bottom view a top view. And of course, I went ahead and took a regular top view of this circuit board. And then in Photoshop, I sandwiched them together like this so I could see both boards and what's on top is the foil. I've uh, uh, changed the opacity so I can see through it. Then I went ahead and erased out from the foil side where the capacitors and resistors were and then changed the opacity back to 100 percent and I ended up with this and I found this very helpful in drawing up this wiring diagram. Now something that I had to be careful of is since I have made this a top view, the two pins count this way. Now I went ahead and took a bunch of other pictures to help me draw up the wiring diagram like this power supply and I took pictures of the four capacitors that were on top of the board. This was very useful in identifying where things went. Now here I'm going to go through the circuit for the power supply. And those two black cylinders that you see there, those are the diodes for this power supply. And the diodes are oriented this way. This is the power supply and I have a link to the complete circuit in the show more of this video, both the amplifier and this power supply. You can see that we've got a power transformer there and we don't get much increase in voltage on the secondary side, 125 volts. The 6.3 volts, that's for the tube filaments. This is for safety. In other words, it's an isolation transformer besides a power transformer. So when you have your guitar plugged into the amplifier and you touch another guitar or another instrument that's plugged into power, this transformer isolates you from commercial power. Well, being AC, I'm going to start here with the cycle being in this situation, positive on the top and negative on the bottom of the coil. And in this situation, the electrons will flow from the negative side and charge the top capacitor. 
and when that happens you can consider that top capacitor like a battery. Now the second part of the cycle comes through on this AC and now the electrons will flow again from the negative side through the diode charging the bottom capacitor and now it is now like a battery. Now if we take a look at those two charged capacitors acting as a battery now starting from ground you can see that we now have two charged capacitors from ground to Y and they are connected in series doubling or adding the two of those voltages together. Okay, I have got the ground hooked up here and now I'm going to take a reading at this point and we can see that it reads 167.9 volts. Now I'm going to take a look at point Y and it reads 335.9 volts and here is Z reads 200 and about 296 volts Thanks for watching.